What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I will be sharing with you my 10 week lock update with my boy locks. So let's jump right into it. So as mentioned, I am 10 weeks along my breadlock journey and I can honestly say that I have been learning so much about this particular lock method, this starter lock method. And um, what I can definitely say I have learned or have been, um, had a realization or a confirmation <laughs> is that I really do not like the interlocking method. Now, when I did start my two strand twist starter locks as well as my instant lock, um, journey, instant lock lock journey. <laughs> um, I did interlock the roots after installing my um, instant lock slash two strand twist star locks, right? And as I carried on throughout those lock journeys, I never ever interlocked ever again. However, Starting the braid lock journey, my braid lock journey, should I say, um, I thought to myself, well, I know that when you interlock, whenever you look at the root or wherever you have interlocked, you will notice that it kind of gives like the braided method. Like, you know how when you have the three strands and you put them in, you know what braids look like, right? I have observed that. So I thought, okay, well, since I started with the braid lock method, maybe interlocking would be the best because it kind of goes into the same pattern of how the actual lock was started, right? So I thought, okay, let's go ahead and install my, uh, not install, sorry, retighten my locks with the, my starter lock, should I say, with the interlocking method, which I've shared with you in, I think, my four week lock update, and I'll link it right here for you to check out. Now, as much as I did give props to the interlocking method, i.e. saying that it's so much faster, and I'll definitely give that give that to it, give that credit to it, that it's so much more quicker when you're installing, uh, get my words out right please, when you are retightening your locks, right? But I still didn't like the finished look, I didn't like how it looked, but at the same time I'm like, okay, well, it's neat and whatever. But my biggest thing that I really don't like about it is when it comes time to um, retighten at your next session, because as you guys would have seen, I did share that I washed my hair and I have not retwisted. Now at the eighth week um, mark, I didn't retwist, retighten. I didn't retighten and I thought, okay, by time week 10 come around and I have my wash day and whatever, I'm gonna be ready to um, retighten, but no, 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 no. As I've also shared, the lower half of my head, like so this part downwards, it grows so much faster than this part upwards, right? So all the hairs in the back, I really wanna retighten them, but because of the um, the growth, or I feel like it's not enough growth for me to retighten because I did share that I would recommend retightening braid locks once it has grown to about an inch. Now, the reason why I would say that is because when I had installed my, not installed, why do I keep saying installed? When I retightened my braid locks at the eight week mark, not eight week mark, sorry, the four week mark, I was whoo, dealing with some tenderness because I'm already tender headed up top here. Um, 
and because the some of the hairs up top wasn't um, much new growth there when I would interlock it was kind of tight to my scalp and I had some very uncomfortable evenings when I'm trying to sleep and it lasted a while thank god it's not there anymore because as you can see my hair has grown some but by the time we've got to like we 10 I thought okay it would be enough growth but it's still not enough growth up top so I don't want to go ahead and re um like do a, a interlocking session because it's gonna hurt because it did hurt the last time. And it's about the same, no, it's not even the same growth. It's probably about half an inch that it's grown and that is not gonna be nice for me. But around the back here, yeah. But I prefer to um, palm roll because at least if I hadn't done that um, interlocked, palm rolling this would make it be so much easier now the reason why i'm not palm rolling it right now is because once i interlocked it the last time you can just feel like this bulge right here right let me show you like there's a bulge like as you can see so you have that there but also there is another one right here another bulge in right here so if i was to retwist so if I was to retwist, it would be too tight on my head, even if I was to palm roll it. And I'm just like, oh, hell no. Because if I had just um, palm rolled from the very beginning, you know, at the four week mark when I was going to do a retwisting session, if I'd done that, oh, this would have been so much easier to just continue, you know, just continue with the retightening or retwisting session with no problems. But the, the interlocking have left the top here. Um, they, the interlocking never leave the top any type of way. It's just that because the top of my head grows slower than the other parts of my head, it's like I can't retighten this bit because <laughs> you know, imagine me having all of the back down retightened at the top, just looking crazy. It's like, no, but with the retightening, the retwisting, with the palm rolling, <laughs> it would make it so much easier. I don't understand why I am not speaking right today, like crazy. But anyway, I have realized that I do not like interlocking. I would definitely continue my lock journey with um, retwisting, i.e. palm rolling. And hopefully at my 12 week um, update, I can palm roll and give it a nice retwist and see what it looks like. But I'm pretty sure I would prefer the um, the palm rolling because I've done it before in my other lock journeys and it leaves my hair looking very neat and it's always easier to retwist in the sense of it don't leave me feeling like achy in the head like interlocking did so yeah also along my 10th week of my lock journey i am realizing that my hair is fluffing up even more and i just love it it is just nice and big and you know i shared with you guys that when you start with braid locks especially if you have fine low density hair your your hair will look kind of like stringy scanty and whatnot but it's really fluffing up even more and i love that you know i love it but at the same time um you, the star lock still does feel a little bit skinny but it kind of look chubby chubby <laughs> fluffier okay it looks fluffier as you continue and obviously because i'm not um retightening i think it's just making it fluff up even more but yeah I, i'm really feeling it really really loving it and also you know when i had reinstalled these um these locks here when i combed out um my starter locks because of build up they still look pretty much like braids like they, they ain't even as fluffy like these ones but um the braids you can still kind of see the braids in the the locks like if you look here braid the braid locks is still there it hasn't um it hasn't actually faded away which is okay. Yeah, I kind of figured that my braids would still be visible because like with two strand twist and I've shared with you guys in Jaden's lock updates as well that his two strand twists are still visible. Um, so I'm pretty sure my two, my two strand twists 
Keisha, why are you not speaking clearly today? Why are you getting everything mixed up? When you're supposed to say retwisting, you're saying installing. What is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, my braids are still going to be visible until probably around the seventh month mark because like in Jaden's update I've shared with you how his two strand twists started to look more like locks as he progressed but I'm only 10 weeks in so that's like two and a half months like of course you're still gonna see braids but at the same time I love this this is cute I love it another thing I wanted to share with you about my lock journey is shrinkage I mean I have been talking about shrinkage for I mean the, almost the entire journey but um like this particular hair right here look at this it's so it's just bunching up look at that you see what's happening here look at this my braids you see that my braids is literally bunching up shrinking up and it didn't look like that at the beginning it was nice and straight like these ones you see these ones nice and straight and then it's all now just bunched up and everything but i know it's all part of the locking journey um but yeah i think that's all i have to say today because um i didn't get to retwist or retighten my starter locks because of the previous interlocking session which kind of left me feel like i really wish you guys could feel what i'm feeling like you have this budding thing going on here but below it right here where i'm touching like right here it's like another budding section like and it's it's not like it's tough but it's it feels more hard like the budding section here and it's like two of these one two so when it comes time to retwist it's like i can't even really retwist if i want to so i don't think interlocking is for me as i've shared that i've never liked the finished look and now having you know done an interlocking um, session on my braid locks it just confirmed to me that interlocking is not for me I don't like it I don't like how it makes my roots feel even though the hairs around the back here it's it's they're fine they're fine they're absolutely fine I don't have that issue that I do have up top here but at the end of the day because this is happening up here I don't like it so interlocking is not for me I am all about that palm rolling or twisting because it's so much easier I've never had this um, issue in my previous lock journeys and I'm gonna conclude with that I prefer palm rolling over interlocking and that is what I will suggest to well okay no unless it really does matter to you um, you know interlocking can work for you you know I'm not gonna say I'm gonna just push that to everyone because interlocking can work some people prefer it some people don't like me I don't but nonetheless that's it for me today and um, yeah I think this this update was all about interlocking versus palm rolling because uh, it's given me a headache but at the same time I can still get to enjoy the the puffy stage of my lock journey which I really like because it makes my hair looks much fuller so remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one and if you found today's video very helpful then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so until next time I will be right back here with another update